assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to the lecture of the electronics uh, in this lecture we will discuss about uh, the oscillator the uh, those circuit uh, which is used to produce the waveform like uh, sine function like cosine functions or uh, these are like some produce some type of oscillation like sine functions like cosine periodic cosine function and similarly sawtooth function like sa periodic waves or a triangular waves like in the form of this these are the triangular waves which repeat itself after a regular interval of time etc and the reciprocal of uh, oscillator is uh, we can see that a rectifier reciprocal of oscillator is a rectifier when we uh, convert these oscillation oscillating signal uh, to a straight line mean direct signal dc signal which uh, uh, which is which, you know there is no change uh, of direction i uh, mean there will be no positive and negative so such type of circuit and which uh, these oscillation are uh, reduced uh, so we, uh, we can say that alternating current can be converted to direct current in which there is no oscillation such type of circuit is called rectifier so let's see uh, what is its uh, representation oscillator is a circuit that produces a periodic waveform on its output with only the dc supply voltage as input and uh, a repetitive input signal is not required we will not need to give a repetitive continuous except to a synchronized oscillator in some application the output voltage can be uh, uh, the output voltage can be sinusoidal or non sinusoidal as we have discussed in the, uh, that the output uh, can be sinusoidal or cosinusoidal or sawtooth or rectangular two major classification let's see what are the two major essentially an oscillator convert in electrical energy from the dc power supply to periodic wave form this is a dc supply block diagram for this is dc supply voltage this is the oscillator so what it will do it will transform this dc supply to a sinusoidal or a triangular uh, or a rectangular waves or a triangular waves these common oscillator these are the common oscillator like sine waves square waves and sawtooth it means the function of this oscillator will be to convert a, this dc supplies voltage which has no oscillation to convert a sinusoidal a sinusoidal cosine sine means some type of oscillation we have two type of oscillator the first is a feedback oscillator and the second one uh, is a relaxation oscillator so let's see what are it one type of oscillator is feedback oscillator which return a fraction of the output signal to the input with no net phase shift mean uh, when we obtain a output uh, the output will be given back this is the our feedback oscillator uh, is characterized by the condition wherein in the portion of the output voltage of impedance is feed back to input this is the this is the input and this is the output this output will be again given to uh, this uh, amplifier as the input and this is the in phase because we see that when we apply this uh, input voltage as non inverting terminal so this will be just amplified there will be no inversion and again in this case we have applied our input voltage as inverting terminal so it's it will be amplified as well as it will invert the uh, our output voltage so when this is feedback again so this will be amplified and uh, now in the second in the second type is relaxation oscillator a second type of oscillator is the relaxation oscillator instead of feedback a relaxation oscillator use a rc timing circuit mean we have a combination of resistance and capacitor to generate a wave form that uh, is generally square wave or other non sinusoidal wave form so rc circuit uh, will produce some uh, square wave or non sinusoidal form uh, typically uh, a relaxation oscillator uses some summit uh, trigger or other device that change state to alternately charge so we will discuss these uh, later as well and the second is what is the uh, purpose of the feedback circuit uh, i mean in feedback circuit we will uh, give uh, back this feedback feedback circuit will uh, the output will be given 
the back to the amplifier and this will be amplified until the uh, this uh, this amplifier saturates its maximum values and the, what are the two types of oscillator as we have discussed the first is feedback oscillator and the second one is a relaxation oscillator and uh, which we will use combination of rc circuit rl circuit and rlc rlc series and parallel circuit okay so net what are the condition for the oscillation I mean, the what are the conditions which are required to be produce oscillation the two conditions should be fulfilled for the sustain to oscillation the first is the phase shift around the feedback must be effectively zero zero mean for the closed loop the phase shift shift be zero because if you give some input and it produce some phase shift so this will be again there will be some again phase shift so that the net phase shift should be zero then the second condition is the voltage gain around the closed loop must be equal to unity the 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 voltage gain mean the ratio of output voltage to input voltage must be equal to uh, unity uh, and acl is closed loop gain and av is the amplification factor and b is uh, attenuation factor so if uh, our signal some for example in some case uh, return at any way that there is distortion in the signal so it should be amplified so that the product uh, remain the same which is equal to unity okay uh, this uh, is our some type of uh, amplifier these are the uh, some typical question what are the condition required to for a circuit to slate we have discussed that the first condition that the dead close uh, net phase shift around the closed loop should be zero and the, the second is the voltage gain around the closed feedback must be equal to unity okay next is to define positive feedback in a positive feedback we will give uh, this positive feed, in a positive feedback this we will give uh, signal as a out the output signal as an input and there will be no phase shift okay if we apply the input signal at non inverting terminal so this will be a positive uh, feedback mean when there will be no phase change between the input and the output and what is the voltage condition for which let us start the voltage condition is that the voltage gain around the closed loop must be equal to unity so i will stop at this point because this was a general intro to the oscillator and we will discuss uh, in more detail in next lectures